Shorty gonna get that series. Shorty gonna get that series. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? What you know about the limit comparison test? Hello. Oh. What do we have here? We're going to suppose that these two sequences are positive and that is for all little n's bigger than big n where big n is some integer way out we're talking about the tail. Man. We got some tails. First, what is this n tail? Well, um, if the limit as n goes to infinity of the quotient of a n and b n is some number, then both the series of a n and the series of b n both converge or they both diverge. All right, I divulge into these two special cases. We'll talk about their relevance in a moment, but what if that the limit of the quotient is zero, then Oh, no. And BN converges, then AN also converges. That's the comparison test, and you're like, I don't know if I believe that. I'll show you in a minute. This. If the limit of the quotient of those goes to infinity, and BN, the dominant one, no, the sub one, diverges, then AN series diverges. All right. You're wondering when, hey, yeah. You're wondering when do you use it? Well, you want to use it on rational functions, p's over q's, oof, or rational sequences, and whenever you don't know what else to do. Yeah, if you've already exhausted everything, then in the back of your mind, you think limit comparison test. But why does it work? Well, follow me, follow me, follow me. Here's why it works. It works off that section in your you went through this section a while ago, probably when you were doing limits. We we're talking about, it's in most books, it's relative growth rates. How does it go? You're comparing two functions. If you run the limit of, the quotient of, two sequence and it goes to some number, then that means that they are both growing at the same rate. When we're talking about growing at the same rate, we're talking about large ends. <laughs> I got large ends. <laughs> Just kidding, I pretend. <laughs> All right, so what, balling on a budget? I'm talking about growth rates. Like if this is your n, then n squared grows like this, n to the third grows like that, e to the n grows like that. We're talking about which one grows fastest. If the limit as n goes to infinity is some number, then they grow the same, at the same rate, because it levels out. Now, so that we can level up, we look at this and if you run the limit as n goes to infinity, now this is a fraction. This is a fraction. How do you get a fraction to go to zero? If the denominator is bigger. That's what this says. You run that limit and if this limit is zero, then the denominator grows faster. Now, if you run that limit and that limit goes to infinity, not equal, but goes to infinity, that means the numerator, remember it's a fraction, that means the numerator grows bigger than the denominator and that means f grows faster than g. So we bring it all together and on up over here, yeah, so if they grow the, if they grow the same, then they both converge or diverge. If the sequences grow the same, then the series do the same. Now, if that limit goes to zero, then the denominator is bigger. If the denominator is bigger and its series converges, Think about it now. Um, we, we just got out of the comparison test. That's why a lot of books have both of these tests in the same section. What does that say? Bn is bigger? Bn's the dom. Yeah, it's bigger than this one in the tail. So what? If this one converges, then so does that one. I know, special case. The other special case is when you run the limit of the quotient and it goes to infinity, but now they're like this, oh, the sub. This time the BN's the sub. Why? Because AN's bigger, the limit goes to infinity, BN's the sub. If BN diverges, if BN diverges, if the series of BN diverges, then 
so does the Series A M. So these, this is the limit comparison test to see whether or not they grow the same. All right, if they don't grow the same, these two special cases apply with the direct comparison test. Let's see what's happening over in our private collection. All right, in the playlist that is coming in just a moment, we have a couple of examples and in the future, 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 I'll have more. Yeah, all right, but right now, these are the ones that are in there for the limit comparison test. Um, see this? What are you going to use? Can you bound above? Can you bound below? You're like, I don't know what to use. Oh, that's that second part down there. When you don't know what to use, try the limit comparison test. Uh, this is the quotient of two polynomials, aka a rational function or a rational sequence. Now, on this, you might want to, now see, you might not be able to bound above and below and use the direct comparison test, so something like this, then use the limit comparison test because what yeah it might work now how do you choose your bn how do you choose that other one they didn't give it to you all right that's your an that's your an um they give you the an the an and what you need to find a bn so how do you choose it typically 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 here we go it's the quotient of the leadings yeah, so k to the two-thirds divided by k to the three-halves. When you do that quotient, that's going to be your bn. Or at least the choice, choice of the choosiest chooses is the bn. Oh, down here, it would be n squared over n to the third, 1 over n. So then that would be your bn. That is the typical way you were going to choose your bn, but go check these out in the... We need a better word for it. The private collection, the... Secret playlist, playlist sec Anyways, in there we will discuss how to choose your BN and we'll be done.